This is the biggest sign, dear brothers and sisters, when it comes to malhama. Perhaps this is the biggest time, sign. But the reason I'm mentioning this as a, a big sign is because U.S. and what is happening right now in the world. Before I mention to you the, this, the, this big sign, I want to tell you this. We have seen countries, they would form alliance with each other. For example, we have seen how you know China and Russia they are forming alliance. We have also seen alliance between neighboring countries. We have seen alliance between the Yahudi and some other states in the, in the even in the Middle East. The reason they do this is most of the time because of you know they need each other for trade, commerce, for many other purposes. But what happened now before i tell you the the biggest sign that malhama is coming before i tell you that i want you to understand this never in history actually it happened once never in the history of us except that one time that us has actually shared this technology with another country which is the nuclear submarine technology they have shared or they will share with Australia the second time it happened in the history why because this is a big deal nuclear technology is a big big deal and this is why China is furious we talk about the Malhama we talk about the coming of the Mahdi by the way we talk about the coming of Jesus Isa al -Islam. we talk about the Jal Antichrist Euphrates River in this channel if you are new here, consider subscribing. So, when we see U.S. is sharing the technology with Australia, we ask this question, why they are doing it? Why? What is the reason? So, most of the people's answer will be obvious because they want to protect themselves, especially Australia, against China. And you will be right. However, there is one thing they are also doing. This is not the only reason. In fact, I will be actually mentioning you a very important quote from an expert. He mentioned something very, very interesting. Okay, And this will bring me to my biggest reason why or biggest sign of the Malhama. So uh, let me read you this because this is very, very important. This expert, he said, what he said. So in the beginning, it says President Biden on Wednesday unveiled a new effort to help Australia acquire nuclear power submarines. A major step toward countering China as he works to build international backing for his approach to Beijing. Let's take a listen at this video of Joe Biden, inshallah, then we can make a few more comments. Although Australia, the UK and US partnership, AUKUS, it sounds strange in all these acronyms, but this is a good one. AUKUS, our nations will update and enhance our shared ability <coughs> to take on the threats of the 21st century, just as we did in the 20th century together our nations and our brave fighting forces have stood shoulder to shoulder for literally more than 100 years through the trench fighting in world war one the island hopping in world war ii during the frigid winters in korea and the scorching heat of the persian gulf the united states australia and the united kingdom have long been faithful and capable partners okay. and we're even closer today wow today we're taking another historic step to wow. deepen and formalize cooperation among all three of our nations. <clears throat> because we all recognize the imperative of ensuring peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific over the long term. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to address both the current strategic environment in the region and how it may evolve. Because okay, so again, he is emphasizing on the fact that they need to enhance the uh, strategic capabilities right they need they want to bring in new alliance they want to bring in new technology in order to solidify the 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 friendship the relationship they have with each other but especially with australia uk and us so that so he this is what he is saying outwardly but uh, let me tell you a few things uh, after he is done okay because the future of each of our nations and indeed the world depends on a free and open indo-pacific enduring and flourishing in the decades of head, ahead. This, uh, this is about investing in our greatest source of strength, our alliances, okay. and updating them <clears throat> to better meet the threats of today and tomorrow. 
It's about connecting America's existing allies and partners in new ways wow. and amplifying our ability to collaborate, recognizing there is no regional divide separating the interests of our Atlantic and Pacific partners. Indeed, wow. this effort reflects the broader trend of key European countries <clears throat> playing an extremely important role in the Indo-Pacific. France, in particular, already has substantial Indo-Pacific presence and is a key partner and ally in strengthening the security and prosperity of the region. Okay, so he's also mentioning, if you notice, he's also mentioning about who? France, another ally, right? Another country they're very close to. He's mentioning about UK. He's mentioning about Australia. In other words, his statement is very clear that this relationship through this kind of deal, like nuclear submarine deal, is going to make, make it even much more stronger and they will mu be much more unified. But unified against who? Is it China? So let me tell you this thing because uh, I think that once you know uh, what this expert has said, then you will understand better. So ne the next point, it said that the United States, Australia and the United Kingdom have long been faithful and capable partners and we even uh, closer today. So that's what Joe Biden said. Now, what is really happening? According to one expert, he said, the new partnership between US, UK and Australia Three English-speaking maritime democracies is not specifically about China. He is saying this is not about China. Okay, I'm not saying this. This is something a, an expert is saying. Or she, he said officials insisted ahead of the announcement. Instead, they said the three countries would hold a schedule of meetings over the coming months to coordinate on cyber issues, advanced technologies, and defense in a bid to better meet modern day security challenges. The new partnership is called AUKUS, or AUKUS. Uh, that's how it is pronounced. So in other words, it is not targeting only one country. Yes, China is, include, is included, but China is not the only reason why they are together. What is the reason? Dear brother and sister, I mentioned to you uh, in the beginning, I will tell you the biggest sign of the coming of the Malhama, and this is the biggest sign. So the Prophet something he said basically uh, prophesied about uh, nations coming together. And when he said, uh, that they will gather together for the Malhama, and all of them, when, when they gather together, they will have 80 banner, right? And they will have each banner like 12,000 uh, 12, troops. Look at what they're doing. They are coming together. They are forming alliance, not trade and commerce, but military. They're forming this new, you know, maritime partnership, not just because of China, but because, wallahi, they're following the prophecy. Even though their target is not the Malhama, they do not even probably know that there will be end of time Malhama, but inadvertently, what they are preparing for is what the prophecy was already mentioned. <laughs> so they are following the prophecy without knowing the prophecy. If they knew it, obviously, I mean, they will not believe in this, but the point here is that our prophecy, he said, what will be their main reason? And this is a, you know, a, a demonstration, this kind of alliance is a and partnership is a demonstration of the end of time malhama. This is how they will come all of them together. And this is uh, this particular uh, incident of Australia, UK, US coming together is perhaps the biggest sign of that malhama that was prophesized in the Quran. I'll take a few comments. I have uh, luxury ninja brother. I have a question. Assalamu alaikum. Luxury. There is a hadith the Prophet said uh, Muslims won't have a Khalifa for more than 100 years. Wa alaikum as -salam. How the technology disappear? Uh, sending salam from U uh, UK. Ashwal Fazal MNH Fahad Abdullah uh, Ata Beg Fahad Abdullah Luxury. Okay. So his his question was the Muslims will not live without uh, a Khilafa. Uh, that is not what the prophecy uh, was meant for. It is basically a promise from Allah Azza wa that the Muslims will not leave without a state, Islamic governance, for more than 100 years. Uh, the leader, Khilafah or Khalif, whenever he will come, there will be something totally uh, 
the knowledge of Allah Azza wa we do not know but we are not living in a, in, a, in a situation where we do not have Islam at all we are I mean in fact most of the most part of the world um, especially in the Muslim countries you see that they are trying their best to follow and practice Islam now that so the Arabia is changing but that's a different story but in most cases many Muslim countries they do follow um, Islamic um, laws and we are able to actually pray five times a day fast in the month of Ramadan so our basic things are being protected and uh, if these are not, were not protected then yes Allah would have sent somebody um, you know or d have done something to change the situation of the Ummah always remember that Allah has already mentioned in the Quran that I do not change your situation until you change your own situation so we need to focus on what we need to do in instead of waiting for a Khalif or help from Allah we need to do our part first okay we need to do our part first and then inshallah we'll put our trust in Allah Azza wa Jal as for tuning in assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh before I go um, I have another channel where I talk about international politics the link is down below it's uh, under side show that's the name of the channel but the link is down below you can go and check it out that's totally up to you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh